We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They are making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Enemy sighted! Commander, I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got Geth in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! Tower secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony is safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Help me find what the Geth are after, and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. We'll get going then. All targets down. And now to the Geth base. Ready for anything, Commander. Shattering coming, Commander. Still no fix. Dealing with the Geth is more important. That's close enough! Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? I suggest you put that weapon down unless you're ready to use it. Don't worry about him. He only cares about the company. And you trust too easily, Juliana. 
I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Fidan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They live, though the Geth have devastated their colony. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you. But I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... Looks like the Geth are settling in nicely. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth, or one of those Varen. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out, as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? What is that exactly? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. All right. I'll look into it. Stay put until the field is down. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll just find a small hole to hide in until the field is down. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. Stupid machine! Access encrypted files. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Please contact. Damn it. 
Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption, or make an appointment with- STUPID MACHINE! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, Research Assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. It's no wonder they were behaving so oddly. We should contact Joker. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us. We need to get that field down so we can get out of here and back to Zoo's Hope. B.I., what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. We need to find that ship. Let's get moving. Going to step. We don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. Very good. The field barring the exit will be down.
Now we can go deal with the Thorian creature. Well, that got the job done. I hope that ship was full of those Geth bastards. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. All right, people, you know the drill. Let's move out. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I, I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help them, if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a cruise. This doesn't have to end like that. Not this time, Jean. You need to back down and let them go. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work and you know it. So what now, Commander? I'll deal with the Thorian, then make sure you're safe. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. 
If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. We might be able to adapt a concussion grenade to deploy it. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. We'll stay out of your way until you clear it. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. You got it, Commander. Let's do this. Alright, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... Kila, what is that? That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be... problematic. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You enslaved the colonists. You destroyed their minds. I don't know what Saren wanted with you, but I just want you dead. The Thorian is a piece of this world, extending across the land and back through the ages. You can no more kill it than cut the sky. Your blood will feed the ground in the new growth!
suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are a part of you now. What just happened? Are you okay? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look pretty rough. We should get you back to the ship. 
I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Are you okay, Commander? You look a little pale. It's that damn Cypher. That Asari messed you up good. And for what? We still don't know where to find the stupid conduit. What a waste. She said it could take a while. I needed the Cypher. It's going to lead us to the conduit. I'm just not sure how yet. We still have another lead, Commander. That Asari scientist in the Artemis Tau Cluster, the Matriarch's daughter. She's an expert on the Protheans. Maybe she knows something. Don't worry. We'll deal with her soon enough. Crew dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The only reason to study a creature like that is to figure out how to kill it. Yes, kill it. That's how you humans usually deal with things you don't understand. The Thorian wasn't complicated. It enslaved and killed innocent civilians. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes Spectres have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report.